The basic operation of a water softening system starts with the water coming into the house. This is this pipe here. The water comes into the house, runs through this bypass valve, which is a shutoff valve to make the hard water just completely go away if you ever have to service a system. But it comes into a valve on the back side of this that also runs in through this mechanical head. There's a bunch of little O-rings that move back and forth inside of there to let water into the resin and out of the resin to soften your water system. The, the operation of that comes back to um, positively charged uh, molecules coming in such as magnesium and calcium and the negatively charged uh, beads in here, the polystyrene beads also known as resin. The water comes and passes over. What happens is an electric uh, process. As the water comes across with the positive charge, the negatively charged ones, they're attracted because opposites attract, and it, it pulls off those minerals out of, the, out of the water itself. So then it comes into your home, and it's called soft water at that point. That's just the basic operation of what it is. Now, there's the components in this system are the salt brine tank, which is either a separate tank like this, or there's a cabinet type that has this tank inside of this tank, and it has a little computer head on top of it, and it's a little box looking situation there that's about a little bit taller than this tank itself. What happens is the water comes in and fills into this tank that's full of salt. This is just a, basically all it does is hold salt, and it makes a, a mixture that they call brine with the salt, salt water is brine. So it pulls this off in the regeneration process and puts it into the resin. So basically what you have is a high uh, concentrate mixture of salt water that comes in to the resin itself and it knocks all, it's also uh, positively charged and it, it's stronger than the calcium and magnesium and knocks all of that off of the resin, negatively charged resin beads and flushes it out the system with a couple of different couple of different flushes when it regenerates and then that's basically the loop at it it goes back into service and then once again it's producing soft water the whole time it's doing this process it will still produce uh, soft water but not as much typically when a guy sets this up to regenerate they'll set it for a later time in the day when they know they're not using the water as much like you know five o'clock in the morning or midnight at those time frames also has to do with your sleep patterns and if it's next to your bedroom or not but that's the basic operation of the water softener.